Here we are on a different day. Uh, summer's definitely here. It's getting hot in Texas right now. It's humid. Uh, being from California, I'm still not used to humidity. I can handle it more, but it's not my favorite. But luckily, got some great beers to help quench your thirst during the hot heat. Once again, I did go to Real L. I just took a few little bit of it. I didn't like set an appointment. I just wanted to check it out. And honestly, they don't even know how they do it. They they really are bigger than I anticipated. So I'm not sure they're still in a craft thing, but they are Texas. Uh, they do distill liquor as well. So I'm gonna have to find more about that. This is their summer release, uh, Swifty. It's an American Pale Ale. Uh, it just says that it's 5.2. I'm guessing it's about 40 IBUs. It's still pretty light complexion, probably like a three or four, probably three on the other scale. Or is it not SP or the, I can't remember. But um, I'm gonna use my Barrel House glass. This is a Pale Ale, so it's lighter. I already had two to ensure I get down the profile. It's just definitely, definitely clean, crisp, floral, and enjoyably drinkable. So if you get your hands on this, hopefully it's still fresh enough to have all those beautiful qualities. Anyone in Texas that you get your hands on this, do it now. It's a seasonal, last I checked, it's for a limited time, but it does come back every year, so I'm not even tripping. They probably make more every year. So if you like pale ales, if you can handle some hops, um, red ales and all that, they have hops in them. This will pick it up a little bit, but it's definitely just easy drinking. The floor doesn't linger, linger too long and it's super enjoyable. So it has like, I describe it as a funk. It's very light. Like I would say jackfruit, but it just smells almost like weird and, but it's like beautiful in a buttery way. It's hard to describe, almost like a Chardonnay. And it seems very little citrusy, but definitely floral on the bitter. But pfft, like, yeah, I love pills anyways. And this is a quality one. I can't argue. This is, I recommend you buy this. If you haven't had any pills, just go for it. This would probably be the best one to try. It's the right amount for you to find out about floral, uh, lingering bitterness, because it doesn't last that long. So if you get that hit of bitterness and it goes away and you feel more relief than anything, you might want to try a few other ones, but that's probably where your threshold might be. For me, it just kept expanding it. And right now, once again, real hell, they deliver. They always have a good price. Uh, the bombers are always all affordable and they're some quality beer. Uh, they're in Blanco, Texas, not too far from Andalusia uh, Whiskey Distillery, which they changed my mind about whiskey. I'm a bourbon fan, but man, they took whiskey to a whole new level. So those are two things. They just happened to come out of my mouth today that I highly recommend you try, that I highly recommend you look for and try to seek them out if you're not too far from Blanco, Texas. If you're visiting in Austin, you can make it to Blanco. Worth the day trip. That's all I'm gonna say. Quality people, quality drinks, the quality, quality product is it's amazing. And uh, the guy that served me at Andalusia, salute to him. I can't remember his name off the top of my head right now. It's horrible, horrible, horrible. But he was a veteran too. And I salute him too. And I'm pretty sure it was like Brad. It's a very simple name, but he was awesome, funny, to the point, broke down everything on the whiskey, and I cannot thank him enough. So thank you, Real L, for quality beer. Quick side note for Andalusia, amazing whiskey. So hopefully you guys uh, enjoy this video, got excited and want to try this, because I'm just, it's good. It's 5.2, it's clean, it's crisp, it's light. This is good for barbecues and poolside, straight up. So thank you for watching. Please subscribe. Please tell your friends. Please comment if you're, I have a one wonderful uh, subscriber that's in Louisiana. So if he can make it over and grab this, or if he sees it, please grab it. Cause I think it's a good pail. And then you let me know what you think. That's all that matters. It's about sharing and understanding and, uh, and talking to each other about beer, being sociable and not fighting each other with all this madness going on. Let's chill out and have a beer. I'll drink to that.